As we cover your health tonight, we're discussing how to keep you and your family safe from the harmful rays of the sun. And while many of us may plan beach trips or just want to have some fun in the sun this summer, it's always best to protect your skin. News 15's medical editor, Dr. John LaPree, explains how sunburns form and why sunscreen alone may not be enough to protect you. With the sun coming out, it's time to talk about sunscreen. Turns out European sunscreens may actually be a little better. To find out why, let's look at the science. And let's start with your skin. The epidermis is the upper layer and contains the hair follicles and the cells that tan. Below that is a dermis, which contains collagen and other support structures. Ultraviolet radiation reaches the skin primarily through UVA and UVB rays. UVA penetrates through this tanning layer and damages the support structures. This leads to sun damage, leathery skin. UVB stops around the tanning layer, leading to sunburn. Now both UVA and UVB damages your skin's DNA, leading to skin cancer, although B is worse. And while UVA is the light used in tanning beds, there is no safe tan, and more importantly, a tan from UVA will not protect you from the damage of UVB. So are European sunscreens better? When it comes to UVA, the answer is yes. Both do well against UVB, However, the U.S. has very few options for UVA. Why is that? Sunscreen is regulated as a drug in the U.S., in Europe a cosmetic, and options for UVA must pass the rigorous drug testing required by the FDA. And one final point, that SPF number, that's only for UVB. And while in Europe, UVA protection is generally one-third of the SPF, in the U.S. it's unrelated. So sunscreen doesn't offer total protection and you still have to watch your overall sun exposure. Wishing you better health, Dr. John LaPree, News 15.